think I haven't ever been that excited and stressed at the same time <laughs> because we're finally becoming a sailboat but ooh, I hope everything is all good to go it's kind of scary doing a re-rig yourself and Corey has been working his ass off trying to get it to come together and there's been so many hurdles along the way like stolen things, broken things, missing parts so it's gonna be such a relief once everything's connected and working I cannot wait the connector to break up the Loctite. Unfortunately I did two connections that I had to disconnect because well we got, were not good. Yeah, we got some new wire because look at the damage here. I mean you can see it there and there's a few other places along the wire that are pretty significantly damaged. Well the stressful part for me at least was is over. Getting in and out of that well is real tricky. Uh, but we made it out and now we're just going to go anchor to finish up all the stays and stuff so this is really good I'm, I can now kind of relax a little bit because that was the biggest stress for me was getting out out of that well and really I mean the halyards being wrong, the wrong lengths was another big stress but we can deal with that as long as it's not too short which now it seems like our head stays maybe a little too long but we'll see when we tighten up the backstay if we can bring up enough of the slack. If not, oh well, I'll have to deal with it and uh, shorten it up later. And I'm getting ready to drop anchor. Once again, actually I haven't dropped anchor in so long, it's kind of weird. We've been stationary for about a month and a half now. So much longer than we expected. That's crazy. But hey, mass is up! Just emergency drop the anchor. There's something going on. We heard like a loud thud and what's something, going on? Something caught on the prop or or there's something wrong with the transmission. Alright, I'm going to fire up the, the dinghy engine. This is not fun. Of course, like when we've got so many other things to deal with. It's not working? No, I can't do anything. I can't feel. It's too much current. I'm just getting dragged. Okay, how much gas do I have in here? Do you need more? Yeah. We are on the bottom. Oh, it freaking sucks. The guy over there has oh my God, a line on his chain like 200 feet away like, from his anchor. Why did he need a line 100 feet from his boat? It. This is not fun. We're stuck on that boat. Because there was an anchor, a line tied to his anchor that we couldn't see. We came on Amo and our prop is now followed into that huge line and Corey is trying to dive on it but you don't see anything and there's so much current and the tide's dropping. We're actually maybe on the bottom, I'm not sure but tide is dropping another three feet or so so this is Terrifying and the mass is not even fully held up because not all the stays are connected. Like, could it be any worse? It's a dropping. <sighs> like, so close to shore. Are you getting it? I got the rope. What? We got a bigger problem now. What? Caral dans le bateau. Not sure, but it feels like the prop is hitting something now. We can't catch a break here. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to come back here. It's too many bad memories. Too much trouble in St. Mary's. We are close to the shallows. Okay, sweetie, you're like uh, shaking. Shaking because I'm nervous and 
I cut my hands all the crap from the barnacles under the boat and oh you gotta love when somebody is so ignorant and only cares about their own boat put a line on their anchor that's fine but put a buoy on it and then don't get mad at me because I get I run it over and do nothing to help and we don't want to untie your oh. Some people should not be on the water. Well, we got the line off. We're not grounded. We're not grounded. <laughs> We're gonna get to finish putting up the rig without having the whole boat heeling over without stays connected. And we got the prop shaft unhooked and it doesn't seem like it's bent too badly because there's not an excessive amount of vibration. So really, Everything turned out for the for pretty good. But I've got halyards holding up the two uppers. The back stay is done. The head stay is fairly loose. I'm hoping I can tighten it up with the back stay when I go to to uh, pull it all down. If not, I might have to cut a little bit more and replace that wedge because it will be tensioned at that point. All last big cable to do, and then we're on to smaller cables. I think Coral's really excited because we told her we were gonna splurge once we get the mast and we make it to Fernandina. Yeah. Ice cream, supper, playground, everything. We're going all out once everything's done and over. So it would seem like there's a few downfalls with measuring your rig directly on board. Uh, for one thing, the lowers uh, are gonna be a little off because right now I have wind on my beam and is actually Regardless of how much I tension the uppers, it is actually curving the mass slightly. I, I, I have to be okay with the fact that my turnbuckles aren't all going to be even from one side to another because it's just impossible at this point. I, yeah, it means that the turnbuckles aren't going to all line up. So I guess I'm just going to have to be okay with that. At least the rig is going to be up. But um, yeah, it's not going as planned. Is it good? Kai loves limes, but I think you've had enough. Now you've like had mom. enough. <coughs> Kai! Okay, okay. You can't just keep eating limes. Okay. <laughs> He's just like mommy and uh, coral. You will He's not take like... that line from me. Kai is drôle. No. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Yeah. But we had a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he makes the funniest face too. And it's super sour. And don't mind the uh, Kai. He doesn't have chicken pox. He's just been attacked by no Sims. Okay. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. CMs are out. I'm getting eaten alive, so this thing's sort of helping. But I've got all the stays connected, hand tight. <sighs> okay, anyway, at least the rig's up. I'm happy about that. But I was hoping to put the rig up and start sailing, and looks like we're gonna have to motor for a little bit before we can do that. Today is the 
today we are officially going to be leaving St. Mary's, Georgia heading to Fernandina. That's like so exciting. We've been here for way, way, way too long. Pulling anchor in North River for the last time. Woohoo! to Fernandina on a good day. We always get to catch these special events. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> wow! Well, well, we promised Coral a few things once we get to Fernandina. Going out for lunch, going to a playground, and eating ice cream. Didn't quite realize there would be a full-on Montessori school fundraiser with slides and bouncy castles. Oh, this is good. This is a nice change from being at Anchor in St. Mary's away from everything. It really was in the middle of nowhere. Here you get access to shore and lots to do and see and eat. Quick, it's too warm. They're Do melting. Do not complain. This is amazing. And Coral shows the most colorful one, of course. Oh man, what do you got there, sweetie? Ice cream. Oh, ice cream? Is it good? Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> and that's not blood on your ear, that's ice cream. Yeah, because Coral does not look where she walks. And she ran into her ice cream. Oh gosh. <laughs> I feel so free. I, this is just a huge weight that got lifted off my shoulder that we finally made it out of there. Because 
I'd be lying if I didn't say I had a lot of trouble getting through this month and a half. There was a lot of hard times and we just we kept pushing and pushing and pushing. But I, just, I just wanted to abandon ship, literally. <laughs> I just wanted all of this to be over with. I wish it went smoother, I wish it went faster. But in the end, we have a new rig and that's a huge relief because with two kids it kind of changes your perspective on sailing and your risk tolerance as well there's one thing when Corey and i were alone something that happens well hey it's on it's on us we're only the two of us but now it's it's our fault if anything happens i just i couldn't live with myself if anything happened to the kids so the rig is great today is a beautiful warm day which is a really nice change and it feels great to be exploring Fernandina. I am getting so much laundry done because there's no washer dryer at St. Mary's boat services. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere with nothing other than a shower. Well, this is kind of nuts. I would have never expected to ha run into this. Here at Fernandina, I s we noticed that they were dredging out the channel that we came in by dinghy, but I've never, we've been here at all sorts of different tide levels. We've never seen it like this. We're stranded at the dinghy dock. The tide, the tide is still going it out. Is, yeah, it is minus 1.1 feet tide. We've never had our dinghy stranded here, but I guess the reminder of the laundry and showers will have to be very well timed with the tide if we want to make it in and out, right? So I'm going to shorten the head stay by cutting the stay lock off like I was talking about. So I'm thinking doing this is going to fix it and it'll be, my head stay will be a lot closer to the length, the original length it was. It really sucks not having the exact measurements. I should have just me measured everything precisely right from the beginning before even getting a rigger involved. That way if you decide you're not going with the rigger, like we did, you won't have to run into trouble with not having proper measurements. So we're trying to tap it down to release some of the Loctite because... Trying to work with an eight month old that wants to go everywhere. This is the solution. Hey Kai! Yee! No, 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 tu vas flipper la tente. Okay, no, I don't know if that's that great. I'm a fan of pictures. I'm a fan of videos. 